Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I will show you how to crochet Tunisian crochet, this so so lovely honeycomb Tunisian crochet neck warmer. Now it is just beautiful, you can tell me. Look at it, isn't it just lovely? This is the wrong side and it's nice the wrong side too. And this is the right side. Now we will go on through how to work it in round. It's really easy, nothing complicated. You just have to pay attention a little bit and that's all. Believe me, it's easy. Now mine it's really <coughs> sorry nice and tight around the neck because for me a neck warmer means to warm the neck. <laughs> so that's why I make it, uh, and uh, you, you've you already seen in the <coughs> photos how it looks around my neck. It's like this, because <coughs> I like it like this. But you can just work it larger if you want to. You have to put um, a number, a odd, uh, sorry, even number of stitches. That's all, even number of stitches you need, okay? So in the tutorial I'll, I tell you how many stitches I put and so on. Now, let me talk you about the yarn that I used because it's a yarn that I just love and you will see it in other projects of mine. It comes from Ice Yarns and <coughs> you have the link below where you can buy it without uh, shipping costs without so zero shipping costs actually and um they um send worldwide so you don't have to worry and on that <coughs> site you have my uh, email so you can just write to me and uh, if you see something that you like but you are not sure about uh, maybe the composition maybe the quality of the yarn I will tell you everything about the yarn. I know they are they are yarns uh, enough well. I have been working for ice yarn uh, with uh, ice yarns um, for a long enough time to have experience with them, and <coughs> not all of them, but most of all are really really great. And that's why I am so happy to tell you about this. First of all, now I bought it in three colors. Uh, once it's that I love or the first thing that I love in this yarn is that it comes in so many beautiful colors so you can just uh, buy in three two colors. There will be other more tutorials with this yarn so don't worry because uh, they come in uh, <clears throat> Packs like this of four on one color, okay. And one skein is 100 grams, so you will have 14. Uh, so sorry, you will have 400 grams of one color, okay. But don't worry, as I said, there will be so many beautiful tutorials with this yarn, and it's nice because. <coughs> <coughs> and without my tutorial you can just work so many beautiful things because this is uh, the name is merino gold but uh, below the tutorial you have the link that will uh, bring you exactly to this yarn now it's merino gold the name of it now it has 60% merino wool and 40% acrylic it's a very very nice combination I really love it it's so soft it's warm it's tender, it's perfect. The colors are, I choose these colors, but uh, as you can see, as you, yes, you will see, they are so many beautiful colors, so you can choose from. Uh, it's thin. It is to be worked with three millimeters uh, needles, it, uh, it is written here. Uh, I worked it here with a four to 4.5 millimeters, you know my hook that I use for Tunisian crochet in the round. I will let you the link below where you can buy it uh, and of my review because I actually reviewed these uh, crochet hooks, I just adore them. And what else I want to tell you about this yarn? It's just lovely, it's soft. So you know that for the Tunisian crochet we need um, to choose the yarn very properly, <coughs> let's say, so very carefully uh, for our projects because we want it to be nice and soft. 
We don't want to be uh, to have something to finish up with a project that it's rigid, it's ugly, it's I don't know. So this is nice and soft, believe me. Just watch. It's so soft, so 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 soft, nice and warm and soft. Uh, this yarn is perfect for blankets. It's perfect for scarf for so many beautiful things. Mm for cardigans, ponchos and so on, Ob obvious that hats and so on. Now I work it as I said with 4 to 4 uh, millimeters hook but uh, let's say for a normal uh, crochet um, project maybe with 4, 3.5 to 4, depends on the project that we are, we will work. Okay, now uh, <clears throat> that's it. Hope you will uh, enjoy this yarn, but I'm sure you will because believe me, it's just just lovely, and it's that kind of yarn that um, the basic yarn for a crocheter, I can say, because it's thin but not very. So you can actually work shawls to everything, everything you like. Okay, so that's why I highly recommend it to you. Now I will let you to the tutorial. So let's see how to work it. I have here 94 stitches, 94 chains and I want to join them in the round. Now to join in round uh, it's really really easy if you follow this uh, trick. Let's say uh, that I always uh, do it. I always do like this and it's just perfect when you have lots of chains. So just pass with your finger over the chain to be sure that it is not twisted. Here it is twisted as you can see, so I will just put it right. This is the right face with this viz, okay, and I just want to go, go, go to the end, okay. Now when I am to the end, I'm like this, insert your hook into this loop here only this one the right side this okay put it on your crochet hook and then with the tail beginning tail come in this position so with two loops over and the one under okay like this and now we are ready take your yarn we are ready to yarn over and pull through two and we are ready to begin. You can work a uh, single crochet round if you want to. I will just begin with the Tunisian simple stitch for the very first row round. So this is my first. I will insert hook into the very next and pull up a loop. Two, then three and so on. Just go in each of your chain and pull up loops. Now I will pull up some loops, <coughs> sorry, and then I will work them like this, maybe they are enough. Now to uh, begin to work them I will take the contrasting color, mine is this brown, so I have light brown and dark brown and I will just uh, slip it like this, so I am like this, I will, okay, so actually with the wrong side I can say so I will put the yarn here, just like this, and pass through the very first. And then I will pass through two, meaning, it's very important this, meaning, through one of dark brown and one of light brown. So yarn over, pull through dark and light. <laughs> yarn over, pull through 
dark and light and so on till the second to last we will do like this until <coughs> we are over pull through these two until we will have <coughs> sorry we are <coughs> to the second to last like this like this okay now here I am to the second to last and now I just have to flip it again like this and take the yarn the light brown and pull up loops again and this is how we will continue on until we will have we will have all the loops pulled and we will work until the second to last loop with the dark brown <coughs> <coughs> okay so I just continue on pull up loop loops in each of my chain now I will flip it around like this take the brown dark brown yarn over pull through two because with the dark brown we create the chain as you can see and the vertical bars we create them with the light brown okay so actually the stitches good And we go to the second to last again, then we flip it again, and so on. This is the foundation round. And from the second, we will actually begin with the pattern like this. So we have one and one. Flip again to the left side. Take your light brown and continue on pulling up loops. To the end okay I will just go on by myself and when I'm at the end I will be back to show you how to so to I want to make you understand actually how easy it is it can be uh, frightening and confusing I know it can be but believe me it is not it's so so easy you'll see and it's so relaxing the same way okay so here i am i finished the foundation round and now let me explain you because it's very important how you begin if you begin well you will just continue on perfectly so I have one brown, one um, light brown, and this is actually the last stitch is this one, okay? And now what I want to do, actually I did, but for you, is to count my stitches, because I just want to be sure that I have all the stitches. I will put the marker like this, and, and now you can count them. Don't count this brown. Okay, this one, just from this, you can begin one, two, three, four, five, and count all around till you reach this one, the one with the tail. Okay, now that you counted them, you can begin with the second. The most important thing here is uh, that you must have a even number stitches. Okay, so I have 94. So now here it is my very first stitch of the round because it's the stitch with the tail <laughs> from the tail here okay and the tail of the brown must be here up so we must have something like this <clears throat> okay this is the right position to begin 
and now I am ready to begin actually. For the pattern we will work one um, classic Tunisian stitch, one pearl Tunisian stitch, really easy. Let me just show you how you will do it. As I said, it's really, really easy. <coughs> Sorry. So, first of all, just put the marker, just to be sure that you know, even if we have here the tail, but just to be sure you know where is the very first stitch. This is my very first stitch. Let us... <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Let us put, put the marker. Okay. And now I can begin to work my first stitch. Insert hook and pull up loop. The second will be pearl. It's like this. And again, Tunisian classic stitch and pearl. Like this. Keep it with your finger down there. Tunisian simple stitch, classic simple stitch and pearl stitch. Tunisian pearl stitch. Tunisian simple stitch and take it like this on the hook. Now insert hook through the vertical bar, let it fall down and under the hook. Keep it like this with your finger, yarn over and pull through. Okay, and this is how we will go on. Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian pearl stitch. Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian pearl stitch. Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian pearl stitch. Okay, and we go on. Tunisian simple stitch, always work both. So this is the sequence, Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian pearl stitch. Always work both. Even if you uh, just let the <coughs> project you want to do something else. Just when you work the last two, okay? Because if you work the last two, then when you mm, take it and you want to continue on, you will know that you just have, uh, you, you worked, uh, the last thing that you worked was a sequence. So... Tunisian simple and pearl. And you can begin with Tunisian simple and pearl. For the rest, <coughs> just flip it like this when you think it's enough. And yarn over, pull through two. This is the last stitch. And now we will begin with the very first of the second round. Okay, and that's it. This is how we work. Now, at the end of this first, uh, second round, actually first round with of the pattern stitch, I will be back to show you how to begin another round. And this is how we will work. We will repeat for the length that we want want for our uh, neck warmer. So it's pretty easy. Now we flip again, and we go Tunisian simple stitch. Tunisian pearl stitch, Tunisian simple stitch, pearl stitch, simple and pearl, <clears throat> simple, oops, I said simple, so just, we just have to pay, <coughs> pay attention on this thing, so simple and pearl, simple and pearl, okay. The pearl is this one with the, vert the horizontal bar over. Simple and pearl. Simple and pearl. I flip. I work the stitches. I like to work them um, in groups, little groups, okay, and then to yarn over pull through, okay, I don't know, it's just me, I can control better the stitches, if I don't go on with lots of stitches, okay, I have my two and now I can go on, 
and I will continue on all around as I said this is the very first only the very first and I will show you from the second how to begin okay it. so I almost <coughs> finished the very first round of the pattern and now let me explain you the most important part of it now first of all I have to work two more stitches as you can see this is my last my first stitch so I will work uh, simple Tunisian and pearl now from now on in each round this is the first so this is the very first stitch from now on in each round we will switch the pattern switch the sequence if we worked into the last round previous round we began with simple tunisian and then pearl in the next we will begin with pearl and then simple and this is all but it's very important so now i will begin with pearl and simple pearl and simple into the next I will begin again with simple and pearl and so on pearl and simple pearl oops <coughs> and simple pearl and simple pearl and simple pearl and simple okay and that's it so we can just see already see our pattern stitch it's marvelous it's lovely it's beautiful it's extraordinary i don't know i just love it now i will flip and work the stitches okay just be sure you begin well your round and so one round begins with simple pearl, next round begins with pearl and simple and of course we continue on with the sequence pearl and simple. Okay, that's all. I work this one and I will just be back to show you how to uh, you can actually you can uh, just um, <coughs> put the marker now if you want to but I will leave it here as you can see at the beginning we will have two pearls because we finish with one pearl but this is like this okay so don't worry it looks strange but it is like this because we worked in round we work in round so this is pearl and the beginning of the next because this is the next round it's pearl too because we have pearl and uh, simple pearl and simple pearl and simple okay so uh, and exactly this is a way to be sure that you you go uh, well you you don't go go wrong it's that uh, we finish with if we finish the round the round that we are working at we finish it with pearl uh, this means that we will begin for sure the next round will begin with pearl so with the same stitch that we finish will begin the next round okay this is a way uh, of, um, let's say, verify you. So I finished in length my uh, neck warmer. So I have about 16 centimeters. For me, it's enough because I really want it to be uh, around my neck. <coughs> so it's perfectly. Uh, if you want it larger, you can put more stitches. So instead of 94, you can put... Um, 120 or I don't know 130 the most important thing is to be a even number for the pattern stitch now how to finish we have the two loops this is my first stitch we have the two loops I will pull the first through the second now so like this okay and now I'm ready to go on only with the main color. So I will um, insert hook and work 
here is exactly in pattern front and I will pull the first through the second so slip stitch then back so purl actually and the same thing simple Tunisian and pull through the one on the hook then purl Tunisian and pull through the one on the hook simple Tunisian and slip stitch purl and slip stitch simple Tunisian and slip stitch purl and slip stitch and this is how we bind off our work so we actually work in pattern this last round to the end purl so we go on like this nice and large okay don't work it um, too uh, straight too tight work it large and I will show you how to actually finish your round I almost finished I have to cover just a little bit now I have this one the last stitch to work in and to slip stitch and then I will slip stitch into the very first stitch here nice and loose and now I am actually ready to cut the yarn cut it a little bit longer and I already cut this and I just want to take my needle and to wave in the ends and that's it Tunisian crochet is very very nice and I don't know it's a art of crochet that I really really adore and hope I can give you a little bit of this love for the Tunisian crochet to you too I really hope because it's really nice I have the entire playlist of projects with Tunisian crochet then I will wave in this end too oops <coughs> I don't need this anymore and that's it so <clears throat> here I have to wave in a little bit and that's it I have it this is it isn't it just lovely I just love it now uh, if you work with this yarn uh, you can buy it uh, I put the link below uh, of the site where you can buy it and on the site you will find exactly my uh, email so you can write to me um, to ask question about this yarn or about other yarns that you find um, on uh, on that side there are e ice yarns they come from Turkey and they are really really beautiful yarns not all of them but a big part a huge part of them I know them very well I already have been working with this yarns uh, for a long time enough to know them very well and enough to uh, can uh, to to um, tell you from my experience and I'm happy to do it so uh, these two colors I used for my neck warmer this is so so soft believe me it is nice and soft and I will use these for some other projects so you can buy them just in two color just um, don't worry we will work some other projects this is that kind of yarn that you can work most of I can say everything you want to crochet with them okay so it's nice it's thin it's just perfect it's soft it's just perfect for garments for neck warmers or uh, hats uh, baby things so lots of things blankets and it comes in so many beautiful colors okay so if you 
haven't subscribed yet to my channel just do it and don't forget to uh, push the um, bell button so you can be notified in your uh, email when I upload a video a new video and um, don't forget to like my video if you like them and to share them with your friends on other socials so you can help me to continue on with my um, activity here if you really like it. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you want to um, share with me some of your projects that you worked following one of my tutorials of inspired or from one of my tutorials, I'm very, very happy to see your photos and uh, send me on uh, a message, a pri private message on my uh, Facebook page or you can share them on my group on Facebook. It's Crochet with Juana or simply you can just tag me on Instagram. <coughs> if you put some beautiful photos, I pick up the most beautiful of them uh, that you send me and I share them on my uh, Facebook page and here on our community on YouTube. See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.